Welcome back to Living Dayton, everyone. Your resume speaks volumes about you before a prospective employer even sees your face. Now, if you remember Trisha Byers as a West Carrollton resident on the job hunt, we met her a few days ago. You've been here a few times now. I have. And we are joined by Jerry Deer. He's going to help Trisha and us make an impactful resume. So welcome back to both Jerry and Trisha. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Now, I want to start off, Jerry, we, we gave you uh, Trisha's resume to kind of look it over and rework it. Let's just dive into it. What did you find? Well, all in all, it was actually pretty good. Uh, resumes are a hard thing because they're very subjective. And people often forget that the point of the resume is really just to be the thing that gets your foot in the door. It's right. not going to sell you to the employer. That's what the interview and the application are for. So when you develop a resume, you want to have it as clean, as neat, as concise as possible without a lot of extra stuff in it. Mm -hmm. And Trisha didn't have a lot of that extra in there, but we did have some things like bullet points that had to be removed. There are a lot of little pieces to it. Okay, so we have kind of a before and after with oh, Trisha's okay. resume. So let's look at uh, Trisha's before resume of sorts. This is what it looked like before. It was two pages. Jerry, when you looked at this initially, what, what stuck out in your mind as what was good or what was bad? Well, you can see immediately that it, because it's two pages, there's a lot of information there. And the first thing I looked at was how much of that is really needed. Uh, the very first paragraph that you run into is a lot of, hi, look at me, I'm really great, and that's important. <laughs> uh, but you want to do that in the interview, and you don't need to make a bio out of it. And so we got rid of that entirely. There were three words on there that actually formulated the final resume to being towards a HR position, which is what we're trying to get for. And that's all you needed out of that entire paragraph. So we changed fonts. Uh, you've got smaller fonts, larger fonts in there. And you want to have a consistent font all the way through. If you have to put everything in a mouse print, it's too much. Okay. So that was the before. Now you reworked it. This is the after. We did. And it's we one actually, page. That's it, what we noticed yeah. first. Yeah. Very clean. One page. We went through uh, a, a wonderful person named Teresa Meyer at Barry Staff helped me kind of iron this out to be sure what the employer is going to be looking for. And I also passed it across HR Insiders. Uh, Catherine Randall, who looked at it as well, and we took a look at exactly what was needed, broke it down so you can see it's very orderly. Right. A lot of the material has been removed. Her education is foremost at the top because that's what's going to weed you out as a candidate because they want to know what your final uh, what your final specifications are for having that job. Okay, so Trisha, looking at that resume, I know you were having an issue. You mentioned on Monday when we met you that you wanted to rework the resume, but you weren't sure how. Right. Did you get a chance to kind of take those bullet points? What, what does the resume mean to you now that you see it completely reworked like that? Well, I talked to Jerry, and um, it makes sense, the things that he says. You know, there was a lot of fluff and self-selling that should be done in the interview instead of on paper. So he helped me condense it to what will get my foot in the door. Which, by the way, the look at me, I'm great. Yes, you are. <laughs> Thank yes, you. you are. Thank but you, you. Yeah, like we were learning yesterday with Leah, the, that, that goes on during the interview as right. well. So, Very much so. You so don't want to throw anything at them they don't need to see right off the bat. Okay, so kind of recap it here. The do's and don'ts of, of resume writing. Okay, this is, this is pretty easy. Don't oversell it. Don't put a lot of extra information in there. You just need the relevant information. Don't put commentary in it. If you're sending a paper copy, ignore the fancy stationary, plain white, high bond paper uh, with just black ink and 12-point type, a single font, either Arial or Times Roman, things like that. Um, don't use an objective because that's confusing to people. Uh, the objective is something that's going to be in the cover letter and it's going to be you're trying to get a job. That's your objective and mm -hmm. everybody knows that. Okay. Um, references upon a request, you don't need that line in there either. You're saving real estate for the important stuff. Okay. And they know you're going to give them re uh, references before. Jerry, you have invaluable information. This was huge because the resume is a big, big part it of the is. job hunt. So just real quick, in case people want to contact sure. you to help with their resumes, where can they go? Well, you can go to our website, which is just my name, jerrydeer.com, and there's a button for resumes, and that'll give you all the details that you need, or you can give our office a call at 937-902-4857. Wonderful. And I want to remind everybody, Trisha will be back for tomorrow's segment on Finding a Job for You. We're going to talk about growing your self-confidence, even in the face of repeated rejection. And I know we'll have some important stuff to talk about, Trisha. I know we talked a little bit about that for you, so that'll be a good segment for everybody. Jerry, thank you very thank much you. for coming on. Trisha, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.